Welcome to Emily and Hector's Retro Reviews. Well, today we're doing a live daddy daughter retro review. Emily, you're on vacation. Yep. We're surrounded with toys, we're surrounded by family. Family. Today we're going to review the Popeyes 2001 Mesco figures. All the figures I review are part of my collection, but since we already have them, if you look down here, we already have them open. Why open this one right now, you know? So we got Popeye, we got the Sea Hag, we got Bluto, Olive Oil, Pappy, and Wimpy, he's down here eating some burgers. Hey, and we got uh, Sweet Pea right here. So these figures were made in 2001. Emily got to play with them when she was a little kid. I'm if you see, kid. yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're still a little kid, but you were literal, little, li you were smaller. <laughs> um, this Popeye, it looks kind of like Popeye, you know, but it doesn't compare anything to the way this Popeye looks. Now this Popeye looks like Popeye. Yeah. This looks like the cartoon Popeye. Here's the cartoon Popeye. Here's the toy. Emily, do you remember me opening some of these? No, no? I just remember playing with them. I don't remember. I know for sure I opened up Pappy. That's one that I had to open up and play with. Well, not play with. This, I would display them, okay? I would display them. Emily got a chance to really play with them. She played so much with them that uh, accidents would happen with the figures. I broke olive oil. Yeah, she, so Emily broke olive oil. She was really sad. She thought I was going to be really mad because she saw how much I liked these toys. Well, these figures, as I showed right now, you could. it comes with accessories. You could take the hat off. You could take the pipe off. Uh, you can't take the shirt or the pants off. Pappy, the same thing with olive oil. You can, bend you can, her. you can bend her. She's a bendy. Go ahead, show. Them. But yeah, I right hear. Can all the super glue? Cause I broke her multiple times, so my dad had to put more and more layers of super glue. But yeah, that was kind of funny. I never liked the hat. I, I like. I never liked the hat. This hat was just. I didn't like it. It's just like a black hat with a daisy on it. She had big feet. She looked like a clown. That's what I always thought when I was a lot smaller. I always thought she had pink skin, so I'd start laughing. How big was the world here for Popeye? Let's say you're playing, right? And you got Cobra versus G.I. Joe. Star Wars, they, they can't play. Like any anything that's three and three quarter inch, you know, that same size as G.I. Joe's. Sorry, you can't join because they're not part of the G.I. Joe Universe. Tell us where the secret G.I. Joe base is, or you'll find yourself in the same fate as your friends. Don't tell him anything. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to save you. Who is June, this June. guy? Is he with you? Take that, dark uh, no, side. he is not with me. Take that, dark side. With the Popeye figures, Dora was a nice size that she could be like part of the universe. Did she interact with Popeye? No. Why not? And I, I don't know, it's just I never like like mixing, I guess, universes or worlds. Because, um, I don't, I don't know, it's just I just like keeping them um, separated because that's just how I would see it on like the TV shows. That, like, Dora never came in, the Popeye, only Betty Boop, but I didn't have Betty Boop, but that's a different story. There's so many kids that don't really play with toys anymore. They're always on their iPad or on their parents' phone. And so you don't see that creativity. And that's something I wanted to keep going with Emily, the creativity. So I left a lot of my toys up for her to be able to play with, like the, these toys, G.I. Joe's. I actually ended up getting her her own G.I. Joe's so that she can play and so she knew what it's all about. Like... We, she's got a lifeline, I have a lifeline, I've got a shipwreck, she's got a shipwreck, I have a Lady J, she's got a Lady J. But I use my Lady J in my remote control car. We have stairs walking up to our door, 
So I'd have it right there on the porch, and I, and I put Lady J, and she came with the helmet. So I'd like put on the helmet, and then I'd be like, three, two, one, and I'd fly it off. Let's talk about uh, more Popeye, more Popeye. We've got uh, Bluto, or Brutus as some call it, and he's got punching action. And he actually, we tested it when you were really small. We put something in his hand, and then we pushed the button on the back, and he actually launches stuff off. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think we tested it, I think with olive oil. <laughs> she's so skinny. And then we have uh, the sea hag. She came with her vulture. The vulture always drives me nuts because whenever you put it out, the they're not even. Oops. Oh. Emily's a stickler for detail. I have. I think I may have OCD or something. Basically, just her feet move under her dress. She was one that we that I ended up opening from the package because I got another one in a package and the package is a little damaged but the one that this one came in was severely damaged so we got to open and play with these. Here's a Popeye that I already, already showed off. He comes with a punching action. So that's pretty cool. If you go to Hector Canales YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, you'll see Calico Triplets episode with... Popeye in it. It features Eddie Guerrero, Vicky Guerrero, and Michael Jackson. Hey. So yeah, they they go get Michael Jackson's signature while waiting in line. Red, one of the calico triplets, tries to hit on olive oil, which prompts Popeye to enter the scene. Orale, mamacita. I did? Don't worry, Alice. I got this. We got, um, Pappy. Pappy came with this cool hammock. I always like the hammock. Me too. I'm actually envious on the way he looks. He actually looks pretty cool. Okay, if he doesn't fall off, he looks pretty cool. I forgot which, fi which Popeye figure came with this one. But oh, it was... That one. This Popeye figure. I, th I think it was an episode where um, Popeye was out in the ocean and he was looking for Pappy. And then he eventually finds him on the island of lagoons. Yeah. And I always like this book. It's also in a Calico Triplets episode where um, Yellow escapes jail with... Michael Myers. Michael Myers. <laughs> and then they end up shipwrecked. And this is the boat that we used. And it was funny because when we were filming, people were staring at us because we had a bunch of toys laid out on the beach. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what it's like growing up in the Canales home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then we got Wimpy, who I've been uh, holding for a while. He comes with a tray of burgers. And... Extra burgers. There's more burgers in the little bag that where we keep the little accessories. And I think he looks really cool. He looks, maybe he doesn't look cartoon accurate, but he does look comic accurate. Mm -hmm. And then we got the Jeep. Jeep, I liked him, but I also didn't like him. I always thought he was cute, but like in the cartoon, he just drive me nuts. This has been our live version of Emily and Hector's retro review. I personally say buy it. I recommend it. This is this is fun just to even hold in your hands. Look, as a kid, you know you walked around the house holding a toy in your hand and then when you went to go eat your cereal in the morning or even afternoon or at night you know that you had your figure in front of your cereal bowl as you ate well this figure right here is perfect even for your adult hands to hold in your hand look at that look at that it's just perfect please subscribe watch every video it's free the videos are free. Grandma watches this, so please say hi to Grandma. Hola, abuelita. Hola, mami. Bye, mami.